So we are halfway through January, the first month of 2024, and the Nintendo Switch, as we all know, finds itself in a very strange and curious position because most of us are expecting to see the successor or next generation Switch or Nintendo console revealed sometime soon and also probably released this year in 2024. And so with that assumption on our hands, and again, it is only an assumption, what does that mean for the state of the Switch currently and for games that we can expect to be playing this year, for what Nintendo would possibly reveal as a future lineup when they might internally be straddling the line between games releasing on the current Switch and stuff they have planned to launch the theoretical Switch 2? It's both a confusing and awkward time for Nintendo and the Switch, but speaking for myself and I think for a lot of you guys, also a very exciting time because new hardware, new generations, new consoles, it's always fun, man. We get to speculate, we get to theorize, we get to be excited about new technology, better graphics, new entries in our favorite franchises, and there are so many franchises from Nintendo that we all love. And so what I wanted to do in this conversation is focus specifically on the state of Mario, the Mario and Super Mario Brothers franchise in this early part of 2024, leading into what we think will be the reveal and release of the Switch 2, and the fact that there are already a lot of Mario games we're expecting in the next couple of months, but there could even be more on the horizon soon after that. Of course, don't forget, I'm currently hoping to cross 25,000 subscribers sometime in the coming months. If this is your first video on the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you've been watching for a while but not subscribed, then I hope this video helps convince you to finally do so. So I think we know that the main crux of this conversation really relies on the fact that we are hot off the heels of two major Mario game releases, and we are also sitting here with four Mario game releases immediately ahead of us in the first half or so of 2024. We just had Super Mario Bros. Wonder in October, that was followed up by Super Mario RPG in November. Now, we have Mario vs. Donkey Kong next month in February, we've got Princess Peach Showtime in March, and then there are no release dates for these games that I'm aware of, but we also have the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. All totaled, that is six Mario games, right? Six Mario Universe games, as I like to call it, releasing in whatever six to eight or so months based on whenever Paper Mario ends up releasing and Luigi's Mansion 2. Again, we don't have dates for those, but between like October with Mario Wonder and whenever those games release, it's going to be less than a year, like I said, maybe six to eight months that we'd be having six Mario Universe games release. And it's kind of bittersweet for me because it's definitely way more of any one franchise that I want packed into such a small period of time. But at the same time, I sure do love Mario. It's like one of my top five favorite gaming franchises of all time. I'm a child of the 80s, so I of course grew up during the NES boom and the revolution of Super Mario Brothers and Mario 2 and Mario 3. But of course, we can't also leave out the huge asterisk to this whole situation with these games, which is that four of these six games are remakes, remasters, or just re-releases of old Mario games. Only Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Princess Peach are new games in the Mario kind of universe. Everything else, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Super Mario RPG, Luigi's Mansion 2, and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, again, all re-releases or remakes or remasters of prior games. So six Mario games, six games from one franchise in a relatively short period of time, and more than half of them are re-releases. They're not brand new games. It's a very weird thing. And I'll remind you what I just said a second ago. It is bittersweet in the sense that it's great to have so much content from a high quality franchise and one that I personally love. Like it's hard to really complain about it. But then on the flip side, is it possible to have too much of a good thing? Is it maybe filling in gaps or wasting time of other new releases when we could be getting something else more exciting? You know, those are the questions we ask ourselves, and to me, the answer kind of is yes. I feel like I would like much more variety right now than six Mario games. Again, I will reiterate, Super Mario Bros. Wonder was amazing, that blew my mind. I had high expectations going into it, and I liked it even more than I expected to. Mario RPG I wanted to play, but I ended up passing on it for now because I just didn't feel like getting into a turn-based game. Even though I know it's very simple and very easy, it's not complex or time-consuming, it's just wasn't the kind of game that I wanted to play. Mario vs. Donkey Kong is not for me. Luigi's Mansion 2, I loved it on the 3DS. I'll be picking it up on the Switch. 
Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, never played it, but I'm almost for sure going to play it on the Switch just to kind of kind of finally revisit it, because uh, I know it's supposed to be a great game, and I've only ever played two Paper Mario games, and I thought that they were fine. They weren't great, but I thought that they were just okay. Princess Peach is the one that's in a weird position for me, because when it was first announced as a concept, and I imagined this cool, like, Mario Universe 2D side-scrolling Princess Peach platforming game, I thought that sounded great. I was very excited when it was first revealed as a tease. But once we got more information, I think I've kind of decided for myself, and I may change my mind eventually, but as of right now, I think I've decided for myself that it's not really doing things that are all that interesting to me, solely because it seems like it's trying way too many gameplay ideas and way too many gameplay genres in one game. Like each level, you know, which is like a stage, uh, like a, a layout of a stage play. So each level or each stage play, I think is going to have a different corresponding outfit that she wears. And that will also change what the gameplay mechanics are. On the surface level, that sounds great if you're doing something like what the Kirby games do or what have you. Um, but the way it seems like they're doing it with Princess Peach from what they showed us... They're also adding a lot of, like, mini-games. Like, if you're... I'm, I'm just kind of recalling what I can from the top of my head. I think there's, like, a Chef Peach game where you're doing this weird cooking mini-game. There's this other one that's, like, a balancing act fighting tightrope thing or something, potentially. You know, there is, like, the sword swinging one where she's got, like, a rapier or a fencing sword or something. And, like, I guess she's probably doing normal action sword fighting. And so that stuff becomes a little bit more interesting to me. But I'm worried that it's going to be throwing too much at the wall and it's not going to be consistent of just being a, a Princess Peach action platformer. I'm just speaking from my personal gaming tastes. That is more interesting to me than an insane amount of variety, too much variety, and too many genres filled with minigames. So even though it looks pretty cool, and like I said, I reserve the right to change my mind as we get closer. Right now, it's kind of become something I think I'm going to not play right away. But here's the thing. Not counting the two Mario games we just played last year, and not counting the four upcoming games we know that are releasing in the next couple of months, three to six or so months from now, there's also conversations about other Mario Universe games that could be coming soon that are actually very feasible. The two main ones I think of is a new 3D Mario game, which I think is very possible to be launching the Switch to, which again, I and many people think will happen this year in 2024. And then, of course, there's Mario Kart 9, or the next Mario Kart console game. Maybe they call it 10 if they consider Mario Kart Tour as one of those. You know, whatever they would call it. The next Mario Kart game. And look, I want both of those games. Again, this feeds into that bittersweet thing of like, it's a lot of games in a fantastic franchise. So even if it's too much, there are still great games to play like Mario Wonder, like Luigi's Mansion 2. And if they give us a new 3D Mario game and a new Mario Kart, I'm going to love and buy and play those as well. Now, of course, I think it's safe to say that for most people, the new 3D Mario game idea is the most exciting thing we could imagine, right? Because the 3D console platforming Mario games are like the bread and butter of the franchise. The 2D games are as well. So Mario Wonder is no slouch. It, it was a significant release because Mario, of course, started in the 2D era. And the 2D main games are just as important as the 3D main games. But the 3D main games almost bring with it a more significant level of hype, and it would be the kind of game that in theory could showcase the power of a new console or a Switch 2 if it was meant to launch or release on that device, which I think most of us think it would. So a new 3D Mario game, very exciting. Mario Odyssey was the last new one in the launch year of the Nintendo Switch in 2017. I love the game. I don't hold it in the highest regard like a lot of people. I think it is a touch overrated in the pantheon of Mario games, but I still really, really enjoyed it, and I own it, and I played it. I've put in, like, many, many hours. I just love the game. I've beaten Bowser. It's a fantastic game, but I look forward to what they might do next on a 3D Mario game, especially, again, if it's a next-generation release. So... If, they're, if we're in a world where the Switch 2 is going to release before the end of 2024, and if they're launching with a new 3D Mario game, I mean, that's a great, huge killer app release for that console. But that would become a fifth Mario game releasing in 2024, and the seventh in a long line of Mario releases going back to Mario Wonder. So it would just be wild if that was something that actually happened. Mario Kart, of course, kind of the same feelings I had about the 3D Mario game. Like, I love Mario Kart. I go back to the original on the Super NES. I've loved pretty much every single entry. Mario 64 is probably my favorite based on 
how I felt about it at the time that it released. Like, the best playing Mario Kart game today in 2024 is obviously Mario Kart 8, because it's the most recent and the most modern. But when I just chart how I felt about each new game when it released in its respective generation, Mario 64 was probably the most excited and the most fun I ever had with the Mario Kart game during its release period. And so I love the franchise. Mario Kart 8 is phenomenal, and they've seen stupid success. It's like sold over 50 million copies between the Wii U and the Switch, maybe even closing in on 60. I haven't checked the number in, in a while. Um, but it's sold at least over 50. It's a massive hit. There was huge expectations for the next game, and they just wrapped up the DLC a couple of months ago. We know that they are just about to release and reveal the next Mario Kart game. So I feel like if I was to hazard a bit of, hazard a bit of a guess, I could see... Maybe the Switch 2 launches this year with the new 3D Mario game, and maybe sometime next year, like in the first six months to year of the Switch 2's life, is when the next Mario Kart game would come out. If that happens, I think that would be an acceptable break, all things considered, with all of these Mario games coming out. Um, of course, this is all speculation. We don't know about these games. We don't really know about the Switch 2. But I think they're working on the Mario next Mario Kart game. I think they're going to be revealing it before the year is over. And my guess is that that wouldn't be the launch game, but it would come out probably in the first year. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to throw one curveball, no pun intended, into this whole conversation and remind you guys that there was a phenomenal chance that there's another Mario sports game being planned as well. And I have mixed feelings on that because over the years I've realized that I don't really care about most of the Mario sports games. I like Mario Golf and that's it. And I know everyone disliked the Mario Golf game on the Switch. Um, it is definitely a bare bones game, but I actually really liked it because for just the simple, like, fun single player Mario Kart stuff or Mario Golf stuff I like to do and just play a really relaxed, like, 18 hole course. I like it for that. Like, I didn't need much out of that game. So I really enjoyed it, but admittedly it was bare bones and they didn't release a finished product. Same with most of the recent games. They've really been slacking on those. Even Mario Strikers that came out like a year or so ago, that was a game people have been asking for forever and it kind of landed with a thud. That should have been a massive release and it landed with the thud. I didn't play it, but I just heard it wasn't that great. And so it's like, man, you dropped the ball on Mario Strikers of all game. That should have been the biggest hit and the biggest deal. But... The, those games do still sell and perform very well, so we know that they're going to be making a new one. I'm just going to say the game that I've been wanting forever, as far as Mario Sports, is Mario Hockey. That is, I know that there was a 3DS like Mario Sports collection that had, you know, many versions of sports and hockey was one of them. I never played it, but I heard it was pretty decent. But I'm talking about a real, full-fledged, full-featured console, beautiful rich Mario hockey game. That could be so fun. The mechanics they could build into that, if they didn't half-ass it, like they have been recently, if they put their full effort into Mario hockey, forget about it. That would make me so excited, even more so than Mario football, which would also be very cool, you know? But, you know, whatever they did, if it was another baseball game, if it was another tennis game, if it was a new game like football or hockey or something, I know they did a basketball game once too, but I think that was also in the collection, so maybe they could do a basketball game. Hockey's probably the only one that would get me excited. Um, but this is just more pure speculation, but I just think that they're probably also preparing another Mario hockey game. Or another Mario sports game. Listen to me, that's how badly I want hockey. They're probably preparing another Mario sports game. So that would mean, in total, all these games I'm talking about, we got Mario Wonder, we've got Mario RPG, we've got Mario vs. Donkey Kong, we have Princess Peach, we have uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, we have Paper Mario, we have a 3D Mario, we have a Mario Kart, and we have a Mario Sports title. Six of these are confirmed in real. The other three are specula speculation, but probably going to be real. That's nine Mario games. And again, many of those are remakes and re-releases of old games. So, you know, to kind of wrap this up, I think the purpose of this conversation was just to talk about... Are we seeing too many Mario games? Have we seen too many? Are we expecting too many with the four upcoming games? Could it get even worse if they do release these other games I theorized about, like a new Mario Kart and a sports game and a 3D Mario game? But at the same time, even if it's too much of a good thing, it's Mario, so would we still be happy because we're just getting a bunch of Mario games and Mario's great, you know? It's, it's hard to know. I'll be curious basically to hear how you guys feel. I'm of the mind that 
It doesn't bother me because I can pick and choose the Mario games I would be excited for. Like I said, like Mario Wonder and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, like those are the ones I'm focused on playing and I can ignore the ones that are less interesting to me. Um, but at the same time, are they maybe just overloading us and, and just wasting effort and time and money when they could be making other new games for other franchises or new IPs, you know? So it's, it's hard for me to really know, I guess, how I do feel. I, I just know that there are games that I like and games that I think are maybe not needed right now. But like I said, I'll be curious what you guys think. If this is fine for you and you're playing every single one of these games, or are you also picking and choosing? Do you find it harmless that there's so many Mario games? Or do you find it overkill and maybe even a bit of a problem? Or just a sign that Nintendo is just padding the Switch until they finally reveal and release the Switch 2? Because that's another reason they might be doing this as well. All very interesting stuff. This is what I think. Share what you guys think below. Uh, again, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on another video. Bye-bye.